Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. Tony's Town Square actually released a brand new menu with a whole bunch of new entrees on it. So I wanted to come out and try some of them. And then also I hear tell that the Main Street Electrical Parade Spirit Jersey is being sold here at the Emporium. So I'm gonna see if I'm lucky enough to grab one. And then we're gonna ride some rides and just enjoy an evening at Magic Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. Here it is, Tony's Town Square Restaurant. We have a couple minutes before it's time to eat, and funny thing is, is Tony gets a bad rep for its Italian food, but I love coming here just so I can sit outside because they have outdoor seating, and you just get to relax, and you get to people watch, and even watch a parade if it comes by. So I'm excited to see if the new menu changes a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit better. I mean, we'll find out. Honestly, when I say it has a bad rep when it comes to Italian food, some people really do not like Tony's Town Square restaurant. Me personally, the food's okay, but like I said, I love sitting outside. I love it just for the ambience, and I'm excited to try the new menu items because this might change people's mind. This might bring Tony's back to its glory. First things first, let's head on into the Emporium and see if they got the spirit jersey I've been looking for. If you guys didn't know, I've been on the hunt for this Main Street Electrical uh, Parade Spirit Jersey because it debuted back at Disneyland while I was on vacation there, but they didn't release the merchandise. They didn't release the Spirit Jerseys over there, so I found out that they started selling them here in Disney World, even though it says Disneyland on it, and I got so excited, so I'm hopefully, hopefully there's still some left. And would you look at that, here it is. It looks so beautiful too. Disneyland Main Street Electrical Parade, 50th anniversary. And then on the front, you got Mickey right there. I'm so happy that I'm able to get this right now because like I said, I was in Disneyland and they weren't selling them yet. So it's funny that I came to Walt Disney World. I came back home and they started selling it. So I'm definitely getting it. And it actually glows in the dark too. So how cool is that? I love it. And I'm definitely gonna wear it when I go back out to Disneyland and watch it with, uh, wear it and watch the Main Street Electrical Parade. Unless they bring it back here, which, you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind, you know. <laughs> Honestly, it's so funny because if there's one thing or one like piece of merchandise from Disney that I probably bought in the most of, it would be spirit jerseys. I have so many of them. Some of them I don't even wear, I just collect them. I'm collecting spirit jersey, but this one I'm definitely gonna wear. The important thing is I got the spirit jersey and now it's time we actually make our way back to Tony's and uh, try the new menu. And then we're going to come out and hang out at Magic Kingdom for a little bit or do something fun. I always like to do a little bit more than just like going in and checking out a dining review. You know what I mean? Just to add it in to make it a little bit better of a video. And plus it's always fun. Like every day is great when you get to come to Disney, eat some food and have fun. I ran into my friends Get Binky, and it's kind of a tradition now, wherever we run into each other, I get a new band, and uh, it's due time, right? This is the Sunflower Lanyard. This is a symbol for all those who suffer with hidden disabilities. Paige and Mr. Morrow, thank you so much, my friend, long time friend, fellow YouTuber. I'm gonna knight you with the Sunflower Lanyard. All right, I'm ready. Hold that. Hold your best hand out. Oh, oh yeah, this way. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? You're in? There it is. There you go. I'm knighted. I love it. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Now I'm gonna see if I can put in a request to make sure I'm sitting outside because sometimes it's not guaranteed a request is a request, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it's so nice out. If we can't sit outside, it's okay because it's still a beautiful restaurant. You know what I mean? I love the inside and Lady and the Tramp and everything. It's really nice, but outside, I would much prefer. Oh, it looks like we're going outside, but look at the inside. Isn't it so nice? I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna be having a friend come join me for dinner who happened to be here at Magic Kingdom and noticed that I was at Magic Kingdom. So I was like, hey, come have some dinner with me. So that'd be nice. That way uh, I don't have to sit here alone and I get to just enjoy uh, some good company. And I like it. This is like a really chill spot. I honestly don't wanna leave. Take a look at this. Here's our table and here's the parade coming through. Isn't that so awesome? This is why I love dining here. There's Mickey. This is too good. Seriously, look at that. Look, that's a, that's a prime dining experience right there. 
another really cool thing about dining here at Tony's Town Square and sitting outside is they serve beer and wine. They have Italian beer and wine. So you can actually sit outside in Magic Kingdom and drink beer and wine. Like, that's kind of cool. It's really hard to do. I mean, only uh, the restaurants actually serve uh, alcohol and none of them have outdoor seating like this does. So this is the one and the only chance that you could do that. All right, let's take a look at the new menu. Look at Tony on the back there. Very fancy. And it looks like they have Tony's garlic bread for the table, which honestly I have to ask. Now this is new, but I hope they didn't get rid of the free bread service, but we'll find out. They also have a toy box tomato salad. Then they have a orecchetti with spicy Italian sausage, oven roasted shrimp scampi. Then they have a penne chicken al forno and also a butcher steak. So like they added a lot of good offerings and I think they even have some uh, new desserts. I think it's this uh, Tony's uh, tart here. So I'm not too sure which I'm gonna get, but I mean, I'm excited. Like I said, uh, maybe I'll get the orchetti. I do like spicy Italian sausage. I got myself a nice Peroni and I get to just hang out and drink my beer right here at uh, Town Square. Like. This is cool. I like it. And people watch too. You can watch a lot of people. Oh wait, I take that back because if you do the firework dessert party, you can actually drink beer and wine uh, while you're sitting in the hub. So that actually is another thing. So I guess it's not the only opportunity, but it's still a cool one. And here comes the adventure cavalcade. Look, you got Moana on top there. See, this is so cool. Who wouldn't want to sit here and watch the parade? Vamos! Vamos! Looking over the menu, it looks like they got rid of a couple of the Tony staples, like the pizza and then the uh, the trio where you got a little bit of everything. It was like a sampler, uh, but they got rid of that. And also I asked about the bread service. They still serve bread, but it comes with the entree. So like you get it when you get your entree. So technically it's not a bread service anymore because it's just bread accompanying by pasta. And uh, I'm not gonna get the garlic bread because I'm gonna have the bread that comes with my meal. And also I was torn between the orchette and the shrimp scampi. So I kind of just figured I'd go with both and uh, take one home in the total go box just so I could show you guys. Cause these were all like, almost 50% of the entrees is brand new. Like, that, isn't that, that's like a pretty crazy thing. I don't know if I'm saying orchetti right. Orchetti, orchetta, I'm not too sure. Either way, it sounds very fancy. And it's house made sausage with broccoli rabe, onion, roasted garlic and toasted breadcrumbs. And then the shrimp scampi is shrimp with lemon, roasted garlic brother, white wine and crispy parmesan potatoes so like those sound like fancy <laughs> orecchetti that's the way you actually want to pronounce it i had to look it up and every time i come to a word i really don't know the proper way to pronouncing i do look it up but i think different people have different dialect so like some people do say orecchetti and it's kind of like porchetta and porchetta so uh that's the proper way of saying it and either way it's it sounds pretty good since I ordered two entrees, uh, the server actually brought out the bread for me so that I can show it to you guys because I'm trying to show everything off. And this is the bread and it looks a little bit different than what they used to serve. And uh, this is now gonna be brought out with your entrees, but I love the oil here. Look at this. Oh yeah, much too good. And I don't think they used to give out this cheese either. Oh, Tony's, he come flying in there. <laughs> Honestly though, one of the things I loved about this restaurant was the bread service too. So I'm glad that they at least still give it with the meals and we're gonna give it a go here. All right, here it is, the main event. The Orchetti right here. Oh, that looks so good, doesn't it? I'm actually really shocked. Look at the uh, sausage in there and then the breadcrumbs. And then here is the shrimp scampi. That looks so good too, like everything is actually the plate presentation is amazing. Like, I'm really shocked. This is a big step up right here. And you can definitely tell there's much more flavor added to the, the dishes because they have plenty of more ingredients. Like, I honestly, I'm, I'm a little impressed. And my friend joined me, Serena Ray. I got a lot of food here to try, so I hope you're gonna try some of it. 
It does look a little fancy. Yeah, you'll you'll give it a bite. It looks nice. Yeah, it does, right? Oh, it does, yeah. It's, it smells amazing. That's what I was just talking about. And uh, I don't know. I think I'll start off with this one here. How do you say orchetta? Is it orchetta or orchetti? You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure. Let me know in the comments either way. But this is the one we're going to start with. All right. We're going to grab some noodles. Some of the sausage here. Look at that. And it says house-made sausage. And grab some of the veggies in there. A little bit of everything on one bite. I love sausage, but it does say it is spicy Italian sausage, so we'll see what the spice factor is. I, I, I'm like a mild kind of guy when it comes to like spice, so I'm kind of interested though, but here we go. Wow, that's very good. Holy moly. That has a lot, a lot of complex flavors happening there. I can even taste like a little lemon for some strange reason. I love this. Like this is this is a really good meal right here. I'm really I'm really really shocked. And the name of the dish is actually the noodles right here, but the sausage is what's really like doing it for me. The sausage is doing it big time. If you've ever had the sausage from here before, this is completely different. Like this is night and day right here. The sausage definitely has a way better taste to it. I love this dish right here. Also. Serena got a Bellini. Look at that. So pretty. Yeah. Did you know you can drink here and just look out on like everything? Isn't it amazing? Dude, I've never, I've never even stopped. Yeah. Here. Oh, really? I always walk past. Oh. <laughs> well, now I'm today's the day. I'm very happy. <laughs> now we're gonna dive into the shrimp, though. I'm gonna grab me a little shrimp here. Look at that. It actually, looks like really good shrimp as well. Look at that shrimp right there, and it's douched, douched douched, douched in uh, wine and butter and garlic sauce. So we're gonna go over for it here. Oh yeah. The shrimp is phenomenal and over here is the potatoes. Now these are what I was looking forward to. Oh yeah, look at this. I like how they got all of the sauce on there as well. Oh, that's gonna be a good bite. A little potato action. So this is probably my favorite dish. I mean, I like this one, but this really is a home run for me. And the spice isn't too bad. Like I said, I like mild wings and stuff like that. But Serena, you like spicy, sp you like spicy food, right? So it's, you're gonna probably say this isn't spicy at all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably, yep. So Serena says it's not spicy at all. And she likes spice, me who, doesn't like spice so much says it's a little bit spicy either way it's delicious i really do like it a lot and i like the noodles and the sauce everything is phenomenal and i didn't even notice that they had some sauce for the scampi underneath the potatoes there and i don't even know what that sauce is i have to look it up here let's see crispy parmesan potatoes served with white wine and roasted garlic butter but i don't know what that is though but if I did, like I said, had to pick between both of them, I would go with the sausage. Like, it's that good. It is a really big step up, especially from a place that gets a bad rep with Italian food. Here, I really feel like this is a redeemable menu item. Like, if, if you didn't like it, and you like trying some good sausage and pasta, definitely come out and try Tony's again. Also, take a look at this. As we're sitting here, all the characters are up on top of the train station. You can see them from here. I might have to zoom in so you could see them, but they're just up there, so it's kind of cool. Look at them up there. They're actually having a good time. They're waving to everybody. You see Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Chip, Dale, Daisy, Donald. Everyone's up there. The whole gang's here. All right, now we are all done with dinner. Like I said, I love the sausage probably way more than the shrimp. And uh, we're gonna head out to the park, enjoy a little evening at Magic Kingdom. The fireworks are gonna start like very soon. So hopefully we can get on some rides with a uh, lower wait time. The best time to go ride any rides if you're not using Genie Plus is during the fireworks because a lot of people are just kind of just hanging out waiting. So we're gonna test that theory out and head over to Big Thunder Mountain. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Tony's. I feel like uh, they improved the menu a lot. I would definitely come back and get that sausage again. Like, it was worth it. 
like I said, the fireworks are going to be starting any minute now. Well, technically, they're going to be starting in 30 minutes, but a lot of people are lined up on Main Street, and we're going to actually go this way to get around the crowds to make our way over to Frontierland because they have the... Uh, like extra like exits open and it's kind of cool to be able to walk through them because you get to see a lot of the main street transportation just hanging out look at that look at all the sleeping main street transportation they have the omnibus right there i love this and we're coming up behind crystal palace i love walking through here it is really really cool what a shot of the castle though right it's so pretty i know look at it from right here i love it that is like one of the best like shots of the ca castle I think you can get right there. The weather out this evening though is absolutely amazing. Like I'm loving it and a good ride on Big Thunder Mountain. I think that sounds perfect. Maybe we can time it right and we can be able to watch it with the fireworks. Huh? Yes. Huh? That'd be cool. A little fireworks. It's 845. It might happen. It can happen. It can happen. It can happen. There we go. It says 40 minutes. But I'm telling you, I think we're going to be on in 10 minutes. 10 minute wait, I bet. I think 10 minutes. Yep. We're going to time it right now. It says 40 minutes. Right now we're walking in 847. It's been a long time since I rode Big Thunder Mountain at night. And it looks so fun. I think it's better at night. And we're moving pretty fast. Like we're getting through this queue like super fast. I might be really right on my 10 minute mark. It's 8.53 now, so not too much longer to go. It was officially 10 minutes. It's 9.58. So that is, now I consist that the time is when you get to the fast pass separation point. So that's where we're at right now. 10 minutes. Couldn't beat that. But we're definitely going to be watching the fireworks though. Yeah, we're going to catch the fireworks. I knew it could happen. This is all we have to wait. So as long as the ride keeps on moving smoothly, we only have this little tiny line right here, and uh, we're gonna be able to watch fireworks while riding Big Thunder Mountain. I can hear the fireworks actually going off right now. So maybe we can catch the finale, which that would be pretty. That would be pretty amazing. All right, here comes our train. Bold. You be bold. You be bold. I thought we were getting I Am Fearless. Oh boy. Here we go. Can you hear those fireworks though? Yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, that is magical, beautiful. That was amazing, wasn't it? It was. Right? You started going that fast when you Oh no, it's because it was at it was at night, so I feel like it, it goes the same speed every single time. Oh no, we were coming in hot. I know. We were coming in hot. <laughs> now we get to come out. We got kind of like a prime viewing area right here. I don't think I've ever watched the fireworks from back here, have you? Yeah. Right here? With like the geyser and everything? What scene is this though? Well, this is starting to be like a core memory for me. I love it. Look at this. 
so cool. All right, here it comes, the finale. So after the fireworks, which that was really cool to watch, we decided to race over to Tomorrowland so we could do Buzz Lightyear because last time I was hanging out with Serena, we played Men in Black and I ended up, I guess, destroying you in Men in Black, right? You got lucky. I got lucky. Got so lucky. now she's going to try to get redemption, but on Buzz Lightyear. You are talking so much smack. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, she probably will. I feel like I've been doing a lot of Toy Story rides recently. But you gotta love Buzz. I can't wait to watch the new movie, too. Now, I just rode this a couple of days ago, and I wasn't able to max out my uh, space cruiser, so hopefully I can do it this time. And also, I'm still noticing a lot of broken like cruisers. Look at, as you see, we've got a couple coming through, covered in tarps and everything. So it's strange. You gotta hop in. Okay. All right, who's controlling this here? I don't know, I'll do it. You're controlling? Yeah. All right, all right. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose. Ooh. We're in like a disco. I think she's cheating. No, I'm not. I'm not cheating. I'm not sitting on my side. Hey! I'm not sitting on my side. <laughs> I'm not getting anything. I don't like this. Look at this. It's okay. Look at this. Look at this. You're missing what? That's because you're controlling. You know where to turn. Yeah. See, I knew. That's why you're like, I'll do it. <laughs> you you want to turn this in any direction. Well, I had fun. I guess that's all that matters. All that matters. And you won this time. But you know what? So I won Men in Black. You won Buzz Lightyear. The only thing is, is now we have to do Toy Story Midway Mania. Yep. I didn't do that good. Yeah, oh yeah, you didn't max it out. No, I usually max it out. It looks like you are a uh, cosmic commander. And I am a space ace. But no galactic hero here. All right, so Buzz Lightyear is not my best game. But I know, I know this for a fact that if we did like a best out of three, then I would totally, I'm, I'm totally gonna win. When it comes to Toy Story Midway Mania, she doesn't stand a chance, so I feel confident in it. We'll let her have this one. Now we're actually gonna start making our way back up to Fantasyland and down to Storybook Circus because last video I was here at Magic Kingdom, I was trying to ride the Barnstormer and it was down and now it's only a five minute wait, so a little Barnstormer doesn't sound like a bad idea. I'm not even sure if we talked about the wait time for Buzz Lightyear, but it was only like 10 minutes. So like we really lucked out on the wait times and now we're coming over to the Barnstormer and this is gonna be basically a walk-on. Like after fireworks is always the best time and during fireworks especially, but this is pretty cool. I'm liking our night so far. This is awesome. Just a walk-on, so can we ride more than once? If, if there's, there's nobody, nobody in waiting in your row. Oh! Here it is. It's time to go. 
Thank you. Hang on to your hats and glasses. Oh boy. <laughs> but I think this is my first time riding this at night too. It's definitely a blink and you're gonna miss this ride. Oh boy, but here we go. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait, do you guys think we could go again? Yes, let's do it again! We can go again. <laughs> We're not even getting out. Hats and glasses. Nobody waiting, so we might as well just go again. I love it. Gotta hang on to the hats. It's the wildest ride in the wilderness. <laughs> Hands up. Look at the moon. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm a kid in a candy shop just because we got to go again. It's like the greatest thing ever. This is turning out to be such a great night. I've never noticed the fuse for Goofy's cannon is actually lit too. Well, that's cool. Oh, looks like we're not gonna be able to go again. This has been a fun evening, and we're basically just running around doing anything that's like a five minute wait. And honestly, we looked at the app, and basically everything's a five minute wait. Even It's a Small World is five minutes. Peter Pan, though, looks like it's probably about a 20 minute wait, so I think we'll just stick to It's a Small World. So here we are. <laughs> Look at it, it's a walk-on though. You can literally just walk right on, that's awesome. Like I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of It's a Small World, but fun fact, it's Serena's favorite ride. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Welcome to the happiest cruise that ever sailed. They're really going wild in here today. Look at this. It's a small world is like a, a dancing. <laughs> the thing is, is once you ride Disneyland's It's a Small World, you really can't compare. Where's the characters? Those are creepy clowns up there. All right, so we made it through. It's a small world. Now we get to go do the Haunted Mansion. Hopefully it's like a five minute wait too. Like tonight's been a perfect night, like I said. And we're just kind of rolling through the rides. And it hasn't been long. Like honestly, it's been probably about an hour. So like, that's a lot. We've got a lot done an hour. It says it's a 25 minute wait, but it definitely doesn't look like a 25 minute wait. I think we're walking right into the graveyard scene. Yeah, we're lucking out. It's so nice to come ride this at night too. 
I don't norm I'm not normally in the parks this late, so it's fun. Wait a second here. I think they tried to make a fool out of us here. 25 minutes, huh? We're not even going through the graveyard. We're walking right on. Look at that. <laughs> they thought they would get us. Stop the yellow line at your feet. Oh, we were so close. Oh. I'm confused. How do you see now? Whenever candlelights flicker, where the air is deathly still, that is the time when ghosts are present, practicing their terror with ghoulish delight. This is where they take your photo. I hear this last one. Yeah, it's a cheese. Playful spooks have interrupted our tour. Please remain seated in your doom bucket. We will proceed in just a moment. With that, I think we are calling it a night here. It's been a lot of fun. The park was open till 11 o'clock, and then it's open till one o'clock with extra magic hours. So guests that are staying on uh, property at Deluxe Resorts gets to stay and uh, be in the park and basically have it all to themselves. Even the restaurants are open, like Casey's is open right now, and it's 11.30 at night. Isn't that amazing? So it's really cool, but you are allowed to go shopping and stuff. You just can't ride the rides, and uh, yeah. It's been a fun evening. Tony's was fun. Hanging out with Serena was great. Check out our channel. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.